Welcome to the project demonstration of uh, IoT Human Health Monitoring System using Arduino you know, along with uh, internet based service like uh, to uh, plot this health parameters in a ThingSpeak platform. So here we are monitoring the uh, health parameters like a heartbeat and a pulse, oximi uh, pulse oximeter that is SPO2 from this MAX30100 sensor and the temperature of the patient continuously monitored by this LM35. So these three parameters along with ECG. So these four parameters continuously sent to the ThingSpeak as well as we are going to monitor the same data on the 16 by 2 LCD screen. So here, uh, so this is the ThingSpeak directly we are going to get the ECG as well as a heartbeat and a temperature SPO2 parameters can do the streaming to this thingspeak.com uh, like from the given credentials of user ID and uh, so before switching on this kit we need to enable the hotspot and also for ECG we need to connect at uh, left side 1 and uh, right side 2 uh, at this shown slot okay and uh, before switching on this kit we need to enable the hotspot in your phone uh, just go to uh, settings of your phone and uh, enable the data first and then after hotspot this is uh, very important so now just enable the hotspot with the name of project 4632 and password 12345678 so PROJECT project 4632 all are small letters without any space and after the enable the hotspot enable the data also and then keep aside the phone and after that uh, connect the ECG and give the power supply. Just I will connect my ECG to my body. So right after providing the power supply, there will be a welcome message on the screen, as well as so we need to place a finger on this so we can get the heart rate, as well as slightly it will be increased and stabilized, and then after SpO2 also. So if is there any hanging in this, and we can just restart this and place the finger. And as we have mounted the ECG, and the, on the ECG plates there will be L R R. So L nothing but left side, R nothing but right side. Right. So now it will be stabilized. So this is the heart rate and SpO2 of the person. And in the same way, the same data is continuously sent to the or things peak. So this is the ECG we got till now, and the temperature, and uh, SpO2. So right, we got this photo recently, right? And in order to clear and download this data, just go to data import and exports, and now download and download the file and open that. It will be open in a Excel sheet that is a CSV format. There's comma separated values, and uh, right, yeah. So here we can see that that how many of entries till now happened, and along with the date and time and ECG values and uh, is a temperature values and uh, pulse oximeter values and heart rate values so this will continuously stored so you can clear that also so now we have downloaded that and now go to channel settings and uh, go to the only do clear channel don't do any other only do clear channel and after clear channel it will be the pop up and now go to the private view and from here again we'll get the new fresh data will be streaming into the things peak so it will take around of 10 to 12 seconds of time in between the time the data will be uploaded to the things peak along with the ECG as well as uh, temperature pulse oximeter right we got the new data here so you can see that so in this manner continuously we can monitor the health parameters of a person and uh, we can plot them in a thingspeak.com thank you and coming to this sorry uh, coming to this connections so we connected this max 30100 at a4 a5 pin and temperature sensor at a0 pin and ecg at 10 and 11 and a1 pins are for you know board and lcd connected at a2 to a7 and wi-fi module is connected at 9 and 8 pin of our you know board and here this one is a breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply to these modules we are making use of this as a breadboard connection and for the data sending to the thingspeak.com we are making use of ESP8266 module so through that we are going to send the data continuously to our thingspeak so right we can see that the data is continuously streaming to that okay thank you